I was asked by a friend what advice would I give Westbarians, the kids in middle school, elementary school, and high school. I am a rare breed. I feel bad because it all starts in the early phases of education. It is not cool to be smart for some reason, despite the fact that most smart people either have a very good talent or very smart to get a career and do well in life. You'll get applauded more money when you're dumber or score badly in school. The reason I tell you this is I want to recruit people who I can become my colleagues, fellow nurses, fellow ER doctors, fellow consultants who are cardiologists, radiologists that look like me and speak like me or know my Latino American experience. But can't have that if there's not enough people of my color and of my path, right? Some of us are first generation Americans after our parents were immigrants who came here with nothing or barely anything. You have to first graduate high school as best you can and find the thing you love the most. And if you do find that you want to be a doctor and that's your passion, then do it your best you can and get into college. Some university, the one you can afford. And once you're there, you destroy the requisites. You, you dominate and do as best you can on the entrance exams for medical school after you have good grades in the subject that you like. Not the one, the one, the hardest one, but the one you that is your favorite. It could be history, art major like me. And do well on those pre-med requirements that are at least eight classes. And you write an essay and you get into medical school. But if I don't have enough Hispanic brethren and sisters and my brothers who are black, regardless if you are first generation from Africa or many generations of being black and from slavery, regardless. If there's not enough of us in high school that graduate and do well, there won't be enough of us in college. If there's not enough of us in college, there's not enough of us that get into medical school. So that's why I don't see almost anybody who looks like me when I work. They haven't even made it out of high school into college. And haven't even made it out of that competition because everyone wants to work hard to become a doctor. Get into medical school. And then dominate and do well in that. It'd be a dream of mine if a whole bunch of people wanted to do emergency medicine. And are willing to take, overcome the obstacles in getting there and making it through. And to be, hi, I'm a Westbarian. I'm a Westbarian. Hello. Pleased to meet you. You're a Westbarian? Wow. And you do emergency medicine? Wow. But first, you have to work hard, regardless if it's Zoom or not, to graduate high school. The best you can in the subjects you love. And if you like all of them, great. Do well. No one applauds and awards failure or mediocrity. You understand that? No one wants to be average. You want to be excellent. And if you can be excellent, then be excellent on Zoom. Find help in getting a tablet or access to a computer or laptop. Excel in what you can do now as high school students. Even better in middle school and elementary school. You understand that? This is free advice from the man who's achieved so much. And I still have to achieve more because I have to prove myself every time I work that I'm the best doctor I can be. You guys understand that? Maybe one day I'll be in the same, same room Getting sign out or giving you a patient or working with you side by side as a fellow Westbarian, as an emergency medicine doctor. That would be ideal, but just do best for you. Do the best you can, regardless of the obstacles you have in life. How much money you make, how much, what other people wear for sneakers, it doesn't matter. Your parents worked hard. You can work harder as payback. Don't let yourself down. Right? No one applauds failure. If you think so, you're on the path for failure already. Plan for success. And the first step, do well in school. Understand? <laughs> Class of 92 from Westbury. Westbury Dragon for Life.